as with my standalone martial arts breakdown of Darth Malak, uploaded back in April of this year. This video is one that I have produced as an announcement and preview for my upcoming collaboration with Evan Nova 95, Darth Malak vs. Count Dooku, and was in fact directly inspired by it. As Mace Windu is commonly touted within the lore as being Dooku's direct equal. A confrontation between Darth Malak and Mace Windu is interesting to examine because both combatants are ostensibly equal, yet there is a very clear and obvious winner nonetheless. It's Windu, by the way. For this reason, this video will be more loosely structured and condensed than my typical fare, though I will of course still be bringing my usual attention to detail and meticulous research to the table. For any newcomers to my channel, this analysis will be based entirely off of pre-2008 Legends continuity material, ignoring everything published under Disney and anything related to the Clone Wars animated series as both properties are defined by universe-breaking retcons that completely turf many of the iconic core storylines upon which my breakdowns of Mace Windu and Darth Malak are based. That being said, I will be dispensing with my usual media catalog and cutting right to the chase. From the top, their baseline physical attributes are actually relatively evenly matched, as both are human males with a lifetime of training under their belts, though Malak ultimately enjoyed an advantage here, however minor. Though Mace Windu has done an excellent job of maintaining his physical fitness well into middle age, even a generous estimate for Darth Malak's age places him at least 20 years younger than Windu's 63, and that's before we consider Malak's more overtly imposing muscular build. Malak may be afflicted with dark side degeneration, but it clearly has not impacted his physical performance level, at least not yet. Furthermore, Windu's Jedi robes left him largely exposed where Malak supplemented his dominant physicality with lightsaber effective armor, giving him a margin for error. Moving on to lightsaber combat, neither possessed any advantage in regards to weaponry. Both carried standard lightsabers, the differences in their respective designs being little more than mere customization options, providing no tangible benefits in combat. The only meaningful differences would be in the performance and handling of their respective blades, where no conclusion can be reached, as Malak's lightsaber crystal type is unconfirmed. He could just as easily have fitted his lightsaber with a Dantari crystal as a Sith synthetic, and the properties of Mace Windu's Hurricane Amethyst crystal are vaguely defined. Though the common view is that Mace Windu's lightsaber skills completely outclass Darth Malak's, I regard them as being much more closely matched, with the advantage determined instead by skill configuration and mechanical advantage. Assuming that Darth Malak is indeed a master of Juyo, Ataru, and Makashi, then he and Windu have opposing skill configurations. Windu's skill focus in Form 7 acting as a funnel for the myriad of forms he has mastered, creating a singular fighting style with nearly infinite subtle variations, where Malak alternated between the various components of forms 2, 4, and 7. Though Windu has clearly mastered more forms than Malak, Malak employs particularly elaborate and sophisticated forms that offer a wide range of techniques particularly in the realm of offense. However, despite the versatility of his offensive technique, Darth Malak's defensive component, though swift, was flimsy and one note. Juyo and Ataru are extremely weak defensively, and despite adapting Mikashi for blast deflection, Malak's blocks still crumble under power attacks. By contrast, Mace Windu has a better balance between speed and strength, and a more comprehensive defense, 
Furthermore, Malik leverages his physical strength by generating and carrying momentum through continuous flowing attack sequences, bouncing off anything he can't overpower. And Windu is definitely stalwart enough to arrest Malik's momentum. Darth Malak is ultimately in the same position as Darth Sidious, a glass cannon perfectly capable of matching Mace Windu's range of techniques and sheer output, but unable to stand his ground defensively. Finishing things off are their Force abilities, which is the deciding factor with the most obvious conclusion. Quite simply, Mace Windu wins because of Vapad. The Vapad effect the superconducting loop of dark power described in the Revenge of the Sith novelization allows Windu to feed off of the aggression of powerful dark side wielding opponents and redirect it back at them. Between his reliance on dark rage and his enhanced powers courtesy of the Star Forge, Malak is giving Windu quite a lot to work with. This advantage is heightened by Windu's mastery of Shatterpoint which allows him to perceive the fault lines within reality, expressed through an insight into both the macroscopic nexus of fate and destiny and the microscopic breaking points of individuals, guiding his decisions and giving him a distinct tactical advantage. Comparing their power sets directly, Malak may have more to work with, as Windu possesses little outside of the typical Jedi emphasis on telekinesis, telepathy, and perception, where Malak has a myriad of offensive energy-based powers under his belt. However, all of them have strings attached. Though Windu requires his lightsaber to do so, he proved that he can deal with Force Lightning, bending it back against the caster with the Vapad effect. Resisting Force Stun would be a simple matter for a Jedi Master of Windu's power, and Malak has only used Force Drain against inert targets incapable of resisting him, namely the captive Jedi held in stasis on board the Star Forge. Similarly, Malak's powers of mental influence and domination, potent though they are, would either be resisted or fed upon. Even though I regard Darth Malak's level of developed skill and innate power with the Force as making him every bit Mace Windu's equal, he simply has the worst possible skill configuration for engaging the Corrin Master, everything he is bringing to the table being something that Windu has proven he can either neutralize or use to his own advantage. That being said, I have to stress that Malak is still a serious and viable threat against Windu, as Windu's powers and perceptions don't prevent him from blundering. For all of the touted advantages of Vapad and Shatterpoint, Mace Windu is just as vulnerable against a lightsaber strike as anyone else, and he lacks the capability to defend against force lightning bursts that actually make contact. As to my projection for how this fight would play out, I consider the closest parallel to be found in Windu's penultimate battle with Darth Sidious in Revenge of the Sith. Malak's skill and performance level would allow him to make significant headway in the early engagement, but Windu would rally later on. The power boost provided by Vapad and the extra-dimensional perception of Shatterpoint allowing him to put Malak on his back foot and even if Malak had the option of siphoning power from the Star Forge, he still fails to match the awe-inspiring magnitude of Sidious. And unlike his battle with Sidious, Windu's dominance over Darth Malak would be unambiguous and unquestionable, especially given that Malak won't have Anakin Skywalker around to bail him out. I declare Jedi Master Mace Windu the victor.